Okay, let's talk about smartphones. What are we going to see in the next six months? Let me tell you, smartphones are changing very fast. New innovations are coming and we are seeing them more and more frequently. Now, this video is going to be all about what you're going to see in smartphones in coming six, seven months, second half of 2021. And let me tell you that this is about Indian smartphone market. To a certain extent, it will also be related to global smartphones, but primarily it is about Indian smartphones, how they are going to be in coming weeks, months. Let's get the most important things out of the way. Processors, we already know in second half, whatever flagship phones are going to come, they are going to come on a triple eight plus processor. And then we also have 895 coming in. Probably we'll see one or two phones within this year, which are going to be based on Qualcomm Snapdragon 895 processor. But what about the mid-range phones, premium mid-range, kind of uh, flagship budget flagship phones even there a lot of changes are happening i want to specifically talk about mediatek out here i mean mediatek is launching more socs than ever before every two or three months they are coming up with new chipsets and especially these dimensity processors which they are launching i bet in next six months we'll probably see three or four of them coming from mediatek and yes uh, we are already on six nm processors yes dimensity um, 1200 uh, kind of processors are already on 5nm but by end of this year we will see a 4nm based processor for example 895 Yes. And there are already talks that MediaTek is going to come with Dimensity 2000, which is also going to be on 4NM processor. And by the way, 4G processors are uh, not getting produced too much. Only in budget series you have, but mid-range, uh, budget flagship and flagship series, all of them are going to be 5G phones or 5G chipsets. Specifically talking about Indian markets, about 5G, when it is going to launch. Already testing has started. Yes, telecom operators are already testing it. And by end of this year, you'll probably get few pockets of areas where you'll able to access 5G. Yeah, that is what is being talked about. I am not sure 100%, but that's a possibility. Definitely 100% by mid next year, we should see 5G networks in India. Let's talk about displays. Most of the displays are going to be, I'm talking about flagship, they are going to be LTPO based. So they'll be having this dynamic refresh rate from one hertz, 220 hertz whatever application you're using depending on that so ltpo screens will be there 2k will be more common again i'm talking about flagship but yes in 2020 even 21 till date we have not seen too many 2k screen smartphones but second half of 2021 i expect quite a few of them to launch. I also think normal AMOLED screens will come below 15,000. Yeah, we already have one or two phones, but we will see more commonly more smartphones with, within 10 to 15,000 price range with AMOLED screens. And that's a big news. Another big thing that I'm wishing, I'm not sure whether it will happen or not, but uh, I don't like those uh, punch holes anymore. Yeah, and under display cameras are coming in slowly. In fact, uh, now uh, August 11th, we will see a phone from Samsung and it is going to get more and more common. So by end of this year, we will see those punch holes slowly disappearing. And I'm very happy about it. Real bezel-less displays. I'm talking about displays. Let me talk about foldable smartphones as well. Uh, yes, those are flexible displays, foldable displays. But right now, there are hardly any uh, smartphone brands launching it till now. Yes, things are going to change in second half of 2021. I am hoping at least five to six different brands are going to launch their foldable phones. Yes, it might be Vivo, it might be Oppo, Xiaomi. Yes, Samsung is already there. I Apple is going to take time. They will not have a foldable phone at least for next one, one and a half years. But all these other brands, Xiaomi, Realme, Oppo, Vivo, yeah, they will get foldable phones before year ends. If I look at design, most of the smartphone brands are now trying to differentiate themselves from the bunch. Yeah, they are trying to differentiate from the crowd. And that's why in second half of 2021, you will see a lot of unique designs, a lot of different colors, a lot of different structures on the back. For example, that briefcase phone yeah, from Realme, something like that. Unique designs are going to rule 2021 second half. Talking about batteries, I, I really don't think uh, the battery capacity is going to change much. Yeah, it's going to be about uh, four and a half thousand as median ideal size. Some may have 5,000, even 6,000, some may have 4,000, but around 4,500, 5,000 is going to be the size. But what is going to change is going to be 
fast charging yes and big time we already have smartphones that are charging at 120 watt yes and by end of the year i am sure we will see a technology where wire charging will at least reach 200 watt i mean a phone charging within five minutes eight minutes that is what we are going to listen before 2021 ends but not only in wire charging even in wireless charging space we are already seeing 50 watt charging wireless charging and by end of this year i'll not be surprised if we get 100 watt wireless charging that's for sure so fast charging charging methodologies are really taking a leap you know in in camera space it will depend on brand we are going to see a change while some brands might prefer two big sensors 50 megapixel plus 50 megapixel which is becoming common slowly becoming common and some of them will actually go the megapixel way 108 megapixel 150 megapixel 200 megapixel so uh, it's going to be a mixed bag as far as uh, cameras go but one thing is for sure you are going to see more and more pixels inside your cameras more and more resolution inside your camera sensors. It's going to be standard as far as OS goes. Yeah, uh, you're going to see the next version. Android 12 is going to ship um, on more and more phones out of the box. So yes, but still, I will tell you what, as far as Android goes, fragmentation still persists. I mean, even if there are going to be phones which are going to get launched on Android 12, about 80% of the phones still by the end of 2021 might be on Android 11 or even Android 10. Android 12 will be hardly about 5, 10, maximum 15%. So yeah, that is going to be there. There, there is an interesting trend that is uh, happening and uh, that trend started about five years back, but it died down slowly uh, two years back and now it is uh, revived again. I'm talking about tablets, I'm not talking about smartphones. We are going to have more and more brands launching tablets. So they are going to focus on tablets as well, big screen tablets. iPad has been common for last eight, 10 years. Uh, Android tablets came, they went away and they're going to make a comeback in second half of 2021. Another thing, I don't know whether it is going to take off or not, but most of the brands are trying to build an ecosystem where they will have a centralized app and then you're connecting to all the uh, IoT devices, yeah, smart devices. Uh, Realme is doing it very, very well right now. They are just starting taking first steps. But what I see by end of 2021 is other smartphone brands also will go that way. And that is a very important thing to keep consumers uh, with the brand. And I think that is very important to ensure that when consumers come to you, they don't go to anyone else. Because once you are inside the ecosystem, you know Apple has been doing it for so, so, so very long. Once they are into, inside the ecosystem, it's very difficult to get out. So building that ecosystem might be on cards in second half of 2021. Yeah, those were my thoughts about uh, how smartphones or uh, what are going to be the trends in smartphone industry in India, especially and probably to a certain extent globally as well. I want something from you guys. Comment down below and tell me what are you excited about, right? I am excited about Dash Trend do that. If you have liked this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed till now, make sure you do. That's about it in this video. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.